Today I'm going to show you how to configure uh, IPv6 on your DSL connection PPPoE using PFSense. I struggle a bit with the lack of the document of documentation, especially from my provider. So I'm going to show you what I tried and how I got this resolved. To begin, you go to interfaces and you go to DSL where you have your PPPoE connection landing and if you are on PPPoE DSL, most probably your provider is going to give you the HP6, so you set it up here. And one option that took me a while to figure out that was the problem, I don't know what it does technically speaking, but you enable requesting IPv6 prefix through the IPv4 connectivity link. And once I enabled that, my interface started getting the IP address given by my provider. The rest is standard. What happens now is your provider will assign a whole subnet to your interface IP address. So let's suppose I have only one IPv6, of course, on this interface because it's a single interface, but the provider routes a whole subnet to that specific IP. And that you set on your LAN interface. I know I'm getting a 64 network because I saw that in my provider's documentation, so I can only assign it to one VLAN. I go to the VLAN and I set the VLAN to track the interface. And here you can see that I have a fixed IPv4, right? So no externally routable. But on IPv6, I already get here the option to follow the DSL interface. And the prefix ID here yeah, from 0 to 0, because since I have only one 64 block, it cannot be subdivided. But for example, if I would have a 63 block, I can get two 64 blocks, and then the prefix ID 0 would give me the first uh, VLAN, the first 64 block under that 63 block. And if I would set one, I would get then the second block. And once you save it, your VLAN 2 is going to then get the IP range from the interface and populate it automatically. And you can see that if you go to interfaces, uh, sorry, you go to services and server and root advertisement. Forget this for now because it's not mandatory in this case to have a DHCP server running on your router, right? So we go to the correct VLAN. And here you can see that my interface already picked up the whole block that is assigned by my provider, right? You can then choose the range on the server. You're going to set like the 64 uh, block. If you would be subdividing the subnet, then you could, and giving ranges to other routers after this one, then you could split it here. But 64 is already the smallest for this case, so not, go, not doing it. So before, actually, this interface is bad. The root advertisement should be before the HTTPv6 because it's the most important setting. The server is not mandatory. But when you go to root, root advertisement, um, let's suppose that you want to get, you don't want to run your DHCP server, your provider will assign the IPs to you, or actually, your devices are gonna set their own IPs based on their MAC addresses and tell your router what the IPs are, right? So you can go unmanaged or stateless, meaning that you don't run the DHCP server, right? Uh, for example, you can do unmanaged. And then from here on, your devices are gonna pick the IP directly from your provider, you see? So you advertise the router with stateless autoconfig. PFSense is going to tell the devices in your network what is the block and they're going to self-configure IPs based on this uh, range. So then what happens is when someone tries to ping a device in your network, for example, they will go all the way based on the router advertisement, the VLAN that you provide advertised to your router and your router is going to then know which device within the network has that IP, right? And when someone pings from your network out via IPv6, of course your router knows where to forward the traffic to. However, since I run servers, 
I'm going to use the managed mode, right, where the devices are going to follow a DHPv6 server. Then you can come here, tick the box, and what happens is you pick up your prefix and then you can do static IP reservations as you would do with IPv4. For example, here I have now a reservation set for my printer and it's working perfectly fine. Now, to see the status of everything, you can go to status, DHCPv6 leases, and you will see that it, everything is working fine. And that's gonna be it. Of course, from now on, you have to configure firewalls and so on, but you can set up remotely accessible servers and devices without net nonsense. I hope this helps you, and yeah, see you next time.